Welcome back to another video. It is officially March, so I'm gonna take you through a few of the outfits that will be helping me transition out of winter and into spring. We are marching into Monday with some absolute staples, really, really simple pieces, a white tank, some vintage Levi's and a black belt. Now I have teamed this triumvirate with some white Converse. These are so old. I always tie my shoes before doing up my belt, otherwise we have a whole tightness situation, things get uncomfortable, gets awkward. As a layering piece, I'm adding a white and navy striped boyfriend fit shirt, which will also be great for summer. I love pieces that can take us through seasons and can be worn in a multitude of ways. And this shirt is no exception. You'll be seeing it lots in this video. I pulled my hair back using a tortoiseshell claw clip, and then I just pulled out a couple of pieces at the front to make it look a little bit more undone. This brings us to the champion of spring dressing. It is of course the trench coat. This one is secondhand and vintage and they are honestly pretty easy to find on secondhand sites and in vintage shops. I just love a trench coat in the spring and this one is no exception. It's easily one of my favorite pieces that I own in my wardrobe and I know I'm gonna have it for life. And I'm also adding a white bag to help bring out the white elements of this outfit. Oh, and finally some sunglasses. You might remember these from last summer. I love how the cat eye shape makes things look more chic and I really like this outfit. For this next outfit I'm wearing the same shirt as before but this time it tucked in to a pair of black winter knit trousers which are coming into another season with me. Now my goal with dressing is to always be as comfortable as possible and obviously these trousers are quite tracksuit bottom in their look and feel but because of the structure of the shirt and the way I'm tucking the shirt in and kind of leaving it quite open it makes it look more like I've made an effort, which I'm so here for. I think one of the easiest ways to smarten up any outfit is to add some good jewelry. So I am flinging on my gold vintage chain and my decade old arty rings. For footwear, I'm wearing my favorite secondhand platforms. And yes, controversially, I am teaming them with a pair of white socks. I was teased for this back when I was working in TV and I'm only just getting over it now. Do not let the haters get to you. Black shoes and white socks is a strong combo. And if they make you feel good, wear them. And that applies to anything. If you feel good, if you feel like a boss, you're doing a good thing. Final flourishes for this outfit, I pulled my hair back with a minty green claw clip and then I grabbed one of my favorite jumpers which I loosely tied around my shoulders. This is giving me male Abercrombie model without the six pack who is not clever enough to apply for an Ivy League college but is gonna try anyway. That is the vibe. Case in point being this final flourish which is a mini satchel bag that's not big enough for a book. So try as he might, it's all an illusion for this Abercrombie model, but we're here for the preppy vibes nonetheless. Hump Day's outfit is a variation on a look you saw in my last outfits video. I've teamed a white linen shirt with my trusty Camilla Bloom trousers, and this time my white Converse and the cream jumper from before. I think when you wear an outfit that is based around one color palette, in this case, white and cream, it just makes things look pulled together, but I am still wearing loose fitting clothing, which is exactly what I want. Same hack as before, I'm adding some jewelry. This time it's an old pendant necklace. And then two of the best accessories I own, some rose tinted round sunglasses and my favorite bag from last summer, which I am so excited to be bringing into this spring and summer. I love the pop of color that these two accessories give this outfit. I am so comfortable. She's giving me John Lennon meets Beach House and I feel all she needs now is an acoustic guitar and some skills to actually be able to play a guitar, which I don't have. I'm also quite enjoying how I blend into the room. For this sleep and the city outfit, I want you to imagine that I missed my alarm and that I have five minutes to get ready. So I am still wearing the t-shirt that I slept in and I'm pulling on my baggiest vintage jeans. On come my old black Converse with the goal here being to look like a 12 year old skateboarder, but wait, 
we are upgrading with the classic hack of some eye-catching jewelry. And this is the moment where everything completely changes. I am pulling on my trench coat and what just this outfit transforms me from 12 year old skateboarder to perhaps a potential adult. What do you think? Midway point, teenager? Maybe I'm being generous. I really do like how the trench coat makes things look more chic in an instant. Now, this is perhaps a day where I don't even have time for skincare, shock horror. Don't worry, before you come for me, there is always time for SPF. But in case it's one of those days, I'm adding my favorite Yankees cap that I stole from my sister-in-law. And yes, I've been to a Yankees game. I'm not that girl who wears a band tee without knowing the band. I am kind of that girl, but I have been to a Yankees game. And I really like this look at the moment. It's giving me a real kind of London city vibe. And then because it's a quick day, I'm after a bag that gives me quick, easy access. And that comes in the shape of my crossbody bag. And oh, wait, I've forgotten something. Ah, my old round sunglasses. So this is my sleep in the city outfit. I really, really like it. And I hope you do too. Suit alors, it is Friday. And if you know me, you know that I absolutely love suits. I love how they give the illusion that you know what you're doing when it comes to getting dressed, when really they are just the easiest way to create an outfit. So I'm wearing my go-to black suit trousers with a really simple white button down long sleeve t-shirt. And here comes the black blazer, which gets so much wear. I'm sure you will have seen it before. I think a black blazer is such a good staple piece for any wardrobe and it doesn't have to have a leopard print on the inside. You can bring the leopard print with your personality. I then decided to pull my white sleeves through the black blazer sleeves and that clearly brought me some kind of energy. For shoes, I added my black platforms again with white socks. So if I'm stomping down the street or throwing some shapes on the dance floor, there is a good chance that you will see a peak of those white socks with the black shoes. I added my gold chain and then I wanted to get at least some of my hair out of my face. So I pulled a few sections back with some hair slides and then I slung on Max's sunglasses, which I am totally obsessed with and I do not intend on giving them back to him. Finally, my favorite green bag came to join the party and she was ready for a Friday night with the gals. Perhaps a couple of cocktails, perhaps a dirty martini, um, perhaps in reality, an episode of Gogglebox and we're in bed by 10. For Saturday's fit, let's pretend I was out dancing until the early hours, and that is why I'm wearing the same pair of trousers from the day before, this time paired with a simple white tank and the striped shirt from earlier in this video. For trainers, I went for black converse and I pulled my hair back. I added the straw bag and the kind of cat shaped sunglasses from before. This bag might be giving you the illusion that I'm off to the farmer's market to pick up some local seasonal produce when in reality, it's just going to be filled with baguette and croissant because you know I was up until the early hours the night before and all I need right now is complex carbohydrates. In all sincerity, I love this outfit. And finally, we have reached Sunday and I'm wearing the pieces that I pull on where my brain cannot seem to engage itself. So that's my blue jeans, a white t-shirt, that highly attention-seeking cream jumper, which clearly needs to be in every single outfit, my black platforms, and then I added my black crossbody bag, and then those sunglasses that used to belong to Max. And this is the kind of awkward point in the video where I put my bag on and then decide that I want to wear my black blazer and sort of have to do an awkward undress before getting dressed again. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but I get there eventually. And there we go, there's the outfit. Again, if the white sock and black shoe vibe isn't for you, please just keep that to yourself because my heart won't be able to take it. I just love it. I don't know why, but there is something about this outfit which makes me feel like I'm getting on a train. I don't know why, but yay to train travel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for sticking with me if you got to the end. Let me know which was your favorite outfit and I will see you very soon. Bye.